So this is a 7 Artisans 7.5mm fisheye lens for the Fujifilm X-Mount. But is it any good? So I'm back on the streets of Moncton this morning. And yes, I got a fisheye lens. 7 Artisans 7.5mm fisheye for the Fujifilm X-Mount. And I did ask the question, is it any good? Well, we're about to find out. Today is all about perspective and uh, the angle of view that this lens can, can give you. Uh, first stop here is the Moncton Courthouse. And I've just been here about five minutes and fired off a few images just to get warmed up. And uh, really quite amazing. I bought this lens about two years ago, relatively inexpensive lens. And I think I used it once, but my last few videos have been street photography and I thought, I wonder if this would be any good for street probably not the best lens for street photography so today's probably going to be all more about the the urban aspect buildings uh, so i'm looking for buildings that have got interesting shape and character maybe some glass for some reflections uh, it's a clear blue sky day so hopefully lots of light and shadow contrasty that's the type of images i'm looking for uh, I do have the bracket feature on again, so I've got three different film simulations on the go there. Um, Velvia, um, Pronec High and Acros. And we'll see what, can, what we can come up with with this tiny little lens. So guys, I must say, my first few images with this little guy <laughs> have been pretty impressive on the back of the camera. So uh, we'll see what they're like when, when we get them on the computer. It is a manual focus lens. So I just hope my focusing is uh, spot on, but really impressed with the, with the angle of view and uh, the perspective this lens has given me. It's just opened up a whole new world of opportunities. Uh, and like I say, relatively inexpensive lens. I'll put a couple of shots on the screen now, and then we'll go for a walk, see if we can find some more interesting buildings to shoot. Guys, this little lens has actually given me some pretty cool looking images. Uh, like I say, it's a bit of a fun lens. Uh, it gives you a whole new perspective on stuff. And uh, I'm kind of liking this uh, urban street photography thing. This is my, probably my fourth video now downtown and I'm, I'm actually enjoying it. Uh, I enjoy just coming with the camera and one lens or maybe a couple of lenses. You can just stick them in your pocket. Don't need to carry a bag around. And uh, yeah, I'm in this little courtyard here, uh, just on Main Street. And that entrance way there uh, doesn't look like much, but with that little fisheye lens, that little seven, seven artisans fisheye, it gives it a whole new perspective and it just looks absolutely amazing on the back of the camera. We'll see how they turn out when I get them home on the computer. Uh, but so far, I'm very impressed with this lens. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun. So guys, uh, if you follow my channel, no doubt you'll recognise this area from my last couple of videos. Uh, I did a, an ICM street video, I was down in this area, and I did a urban uh, street photography video from this area too. We're down City Hall now, just at the other end of Main Street here. And uh, I must say, this is the most fun I've had with my photography in a long, long time. Um, this little guy is absolutely amazing. Uh, it's probably not the sharpest lens that you're ever going to find, but it's given me some amazing perspectives. Um, the fountain there, uh, absolutely amazing. What I've found, guys, is the secret is to get really, really close, exaggerate those distortions, and angle the camera slightly. Uh, this area here is really, really cool, uh, full of fantastic shapes and patterns and uh, you'll see the light and the dark and the glass there, uh, strong lines, all make for interesting images. And then the fountain's actually a circular shape. So I got in really, really close, right down here on the ground. Looked a bit silly lying on the ground in front of City Hall on a Sunday morning uh, with a hangover. Um, but still, uh, it looks absolutely fantastic. Um, amazing 
uh, images. So use the foreground to your advantage uh, and capture uh, amazing perspectives with a fisheye lens. Absolutely fantastic. I certainly will be using this lens again. I was actually going to sell it because I hadn't used it very much. Um, but yeah, that's not going to happen. This is really, really cool and an awful lot of fun. Uh, another thing I've done, guys, is uh, you see the bicycle rack just there? I haven't shot one of that, but there's a few more bicycle racks uh, along the street there. And I was shooting through them, getting down really low, and that gave an interesting shot as well. I might try this one. There's some colourful chairs there. I'm actually seeing what might look like a nice uh, shot um, through that bicycle rack there behind me with the green chairs behind it. I think I'll explore this little area here, maybe shoot from the other side and then have City Hall in the background, something like that. We'll, we'll fire off a few and see what happens. But like I say, just having an awful lot of fun. So guys, I just came down here to the uh, Blue Cross building uh, and the Moncton Public Library. I've been firing off a few shots here. Uh, what I've been doing is actually getting up, <coughs> getting up close to the building uh, and using the shapes there. Uh, it's a pyramid shape here and all the architecture on the inside of the building going shooting through the glass and getting some reflections uh, which look really cool. Also using the the lines on the stone here leading up to the building just as a, a leading line for some of the images. Really cool distortion uh, and getting some really cool abstract shots. Really really loving it and uh, I could I could be doing this for a long time. This is this is a lot of fun, and I certainly will be using this lens again. Um, as I say, just uh, going right right up close, uh, tilting the lens a little bit. One thing you've got to make sure with this lens, guys, is the angle of view is so vast that you've got to uh, make sure you don't include your feet or your fingers in the image, uh, which is quite easily done. Uh, but other than that, it's been a blast. Um, as I say close-ups of this type of thing and the distortion with the fisheye is really really cool and then uh, I came in through this sort of angle here uh, and tried to get up close to the glass and, and shot a few images through there um, really really cool shots only once did they get a bit of flare down in Main Street there uh, but other than that the lens has been fantastic uh, the images look really really good <laughs> so as I say, I'm having a blast. Just thought I'd do a little bit of, uh, just to take a little bit of a breather there, and uh, 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 I figured that would happen. Um, but you never know. Anyway, just thought I'd take a little bit of a rest here, and uh, sitting on the bench here. Uh, this guy came up beside me here, but he's not very talkative. How are you doing there, buddy? <laughs> um, yeah, having a blast and uh, really enjoying it. Uh, I'm going to move on because I see the security guard just came out of the building there and um, like I said in my previous video, you pull out a camera, uh, <laughs> people just get paranoid. So uh, I'm going to move on and see what else I can find. So guys, that just about wraps up our unique look at the streets of Moncton through the 7 Artisan 7.5mm fisheye for the Fuji X-Mount. Uh, I must say, uh, it was so much fun uh, getting really close to subjects with strong lines. I uh, actually really enjoyed this this morning. I was doing stuff like laying down on my belly and stuff. I haven't done that kind of stuff for years. Uh, in landscape or anything like that and uh, it just 
getting some weird looks, but uh, getting really close to the subjects with this lens. This, this video is not sponsored by Seven Artisans or anything. I uh, bought the lens with my own money and uh, really enjoying it. Um, it was certainly worth it, uh, and I, I will be using it more, like I say. So yeah, that's, that's about it. Uh, just heading back to the car now, and uh, beautiful, beautiful day. Uh, summer looks like it finally arrived, and uh, yeah, guys, if you liked this video, why not check out some of my other street photography videos? Uh, I think you'll enjoy them, and uh, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching, cheers for now, and I'll see you in the next one.